Usually when you join the OHL as a 16 year old, you don't become your team's best player until you're at least 17, at least. But you have to be insane even to reach those standards. Cole Perfetti does not play by those rules. Cole Perfetti did not hesitate a second to make his impact into the OHL with Saginaw. As a rookie, he took hold of Saginaw. Next thing we know, he's the best player on the roster. Cole Perfetti helped Saginaw reach the conference finals last season in the OHL, where they unfortunately lost to the powerhouse Guelph Storm, but since this was a team where only one year prior were under 500 and slipped into a pity playoff spot, the improvement was miraculous, with Cole Perfetti being one of the sole reasons this team succeeded the way they did. There's a reason I call him Cole Perfect Perfetti, and let me explain. Cole Perfetti snagged an organized amount of points last season, 37 goals, 37 assists, 74 points, and a wicked plus 36. Perfetti led his team in goals, points, and plus minus, with Islanders prospect Bode Wild taking the assist category from him. That was the only thing this guy did not have a stranglehold over his teammates. Perfetti shined in the playoffs as well, gathering 14 points in their 16 game run. This only further demonstrated that he was the real deal. This season though, it was going to be a lot more challenging. He has to settle into a more mature role with the Spirit, especially after the team said goodbye to a lot of their former players like Bode Wild, Owen Tippett, Ryan McLeod, and goaltender Ivan Prosvitov. Now a lot of the team really looks up to Perfetti to provide overall offense throughout the entire roster. And the pressure has not slowed him down one bit. As of November 28th, Perfetti has 40 points in 24 OHL competitions, and it could be even way more if it weren't for a slower start. The 12 goals he has right now is still very impressive, but the amount of posts and near misses this guy had like early on the first 10 games was colossal. 11 of his last 12 goals have come in the last 16 games, but his playmaking has been around all season. Like it's just, it's so good. And if anything, it has improved immensely. He sits at 28 assists as of now, more than one a game, truly the pivotal playmaker and goal scorer for the Saginaw Spirit. Perfetti is one of those guys who can fill any role you want him to. He can be the puck moving playmaker that is the quarterback in any offensive role, or he can be the wicked sniper that anyone can give the puck to and you know they're going to get a good shot off. His defense isn't tragic either, but as a winger, obviously there is less liability on coverage in your own end. As long as you're able to get open and really kickstart that breakout, you're doing it well. Perfetti's greatest aspect is his ability to play the game so fast yet so smooth and controlled at an extremely high pace. Perfetti lacks top end speed unlike some other prospects, but he makes up for it with incredible edge work and acceleration. When Perfetti catches someone on the rush, you best believe he's reaching his top speed quickly and bursting into the offensive zone. The one funny thing with Perfetti's game though is, he is a center, he is a natural center but he plays on the wing, and Sagna has had a difficult time finding the right players to play with him, cause last year you know you had guys like Tippett, you had McLeod, but Perfetti, like this is my opinion here, Perfetti's playmaking ability is too valuable to be set on the wing like it'd be way more viable and way more productive to play him as a center with the playmaking abilities he has but since then on the wing he's really really been a topic of discussion he's been absolutely great so far in the last two years and honestly i would not be surprised if he actually stays there and gets drafted as a left wing and goes into the nhl being a left wing he plays the wing role just incredibly if he was a bit faster it would be nearly perfect I'm going to start actually discussing his traits here though, and the first one I want to talk about that may be some of the best in this draft class, Perfetti shooting. Regardless of how many goals he finishes with this season, he's got one of the best shots in this draft. With his combination of soft hands and a lightning release, and I mean lightning, like, I'll, I'll explain here later, but like, all it spells is doom for the opponent. My personal favorite shot in his repertoire is his short side shot from the right side. We saw this at the Holinka. We see this in the OHL. He uses it on the power play or wh wherever he wants it. He gets the puck off so fast and honestly sometimes it looks like the puck instantly hits the twine with no time in between from when it was on his stick to the back of the net. A literal definition of a laser. Perfetti, shooting score! Perfetti's playmaking is another trait to ogle over. It's easily his best trait when he wants it to be. We see it with Saginaw, he's the playmaker on that first line with Damien Giroux and Kolkowski, and he tends to be dishing out a lot of passes for them, creating a lot of nifty chances. Lots of Perfetti's production comes on the power play, and I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes a PP specialist the moment he steps onto the NHL ice. Perfetti, final at Koski, scores! What a pass! I'm finally going to go over what sets Perfetti over everyone in this draft. 
his IQ, on ice and off ice. This kid is a brainiac. This is just an, an off-topic stat, but I remember when I was scrolling through my Instagram feed with the OHL, they were um, showcasing a lot of the OHL players, the uh, top academic students. Cole Perfetti averaged 95% in his first grade 12 term. That's, that's awesome. I, I went to high school with girls who tried their asses off, and that's what they got. But the one thing is that they weren't playing full-time first-line hockey in the OHL. Like, that's just crazy to think about. I couldn't even average 95%. I was a smart kid, but wow. Back to hockey, though. I don't think there's ever a moment where Perfetti does not know what he's going to do with the puck. His quick processing is nonetheless breathtaking, nearly making the right decision every time. His positioning is stellar in the offensive end, too. He's either disrupting a breakout by the opposition or finding open space like no one else. And if there's one piece, one piece I'd like to show you and talk about here, in the Holinka, if you remember that 3-2 uh, game that they had over Sweden and with the shootout, and Perfetti scored, what was it, three times in the shootout? His ability to, you know, fool the goalie, make it look like he was shooting where he was not going to, like, that just takes, it's, it's all a mind game in the shootout, and he played it better than anyone else. He was able to nitpick every piece of Jesper Wallstedt's positioning there for the, yeah, he was the Swedish goalie. He just was inside of his head. At that point, it was Cole Perfetti's shootout. And I bet he had no hesitation stepping onto the ice to shoot that many times. Perfetti holds, scores! Cole Perfetti, the goal scoring hero for Canada! And they're off to the chance. As I'm making this audio recording too, I was just checking out the OHL box scores, and Cole Perfetti just scored his 13th of the year. I'll find the clip for it, I'll put it in while I'm talking over this. Just, he's he's making points, he's just doing stuff when I'm already making videos about him. Like, you, this, you can't stop him. I hope you guys enjoyed this prospect report on Cole Perfetti, the 2020 NHL Draft's smartest player. Tell me where you guys would rank this guy amongst your like top 10 prospects, or even if he doesn't fall in there. He better though. He's a sick kid either way, and I want to hear what you guys have to say about him. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.